Hello, teachers. My name is Wang Yuxing, and I'm from Hainan University in China. The title of my report today is Research Adjustment Processing on the DIKWP Artificial Convictionless Diagnostic System. My instructor is Duan Yutong. I will then expand on the four sections, background, contents, methods, and summary. First, the background. The current research on doctor-patient communication confusion is limited to the dimension of how confusion arises. However, people need to advise communication confusion at its essence. Confusion arises from uncertainty during natural language interaction. Uncertainty consists of three main types of problems, incompleteness, imprecision, and inconsistency. To solve the confusion of doctor patient communication in the medical field, we propose the stars adjustment on the DIKWP artificial conditioning diagnostic system, abbreviated as DIKWP ACDS, to deal with the uncertainty. The main work related to the thesis is present in the air. Duan Yu Tong have proposed a semantically mathematical definition of artificial conditionings. He proposed the DIKWPAC and developed the DIKWPAC physiological system and the DIKWPAC mathematical system. Existing research on human communication confusion means at the level of precipitation of confusion and doesn't provide solutions to communication puzzles. In addition, Sison and others laid the groundwork for resource optimization of the DIKWP ACPS to address communication confusion. As shown above, we take loopers as an example to model and analyze the content of daily communication dialogues between doctors and patients uniformly mapped to DIKWP resources. Second, the contents. Here I present the relevant definitions used in the paper. Firstly, DIKWP and DIKWPAC. The DIKWP model describes the human cognitive processes to help us understand and grasp the nature of human consciousness and consists of five resources data, information, knowledge, wisdom, and purpose. The DIKWP brings the establishment and the operation of artificial conditions closer to the human mind, driven by the purpose of achieving a multimodal during transformation process. Secondly, purpose-driven. The construction of the DIKWP is based on purpose-driven. Purpose driven means that the five types of resources of the DIKWP are converted and generated by building them through purpose. To construct a DIKWP semantic case to help human beings realize the objective analysis process by building purpose, the model can present the subjectness in a structured form and enable effective interaction. Next, in the process of measuration transformation, we authorize issues of incompleteness and imprecision that arise during the DIKWP resource fusion transformation process using mathematical methods such as random sampling and decision analysis. Finally, in the process of DIKWP analysis bears processing, we employ data processing and uh, statistical methods to otherwise inconsistencies. The whole model framework diagram of our DIKWP ACDS resource optimization processing is shown in figure 1. We first map the doctor patent dialogue text as input to the DIKWP model. The output content of the Model is divided into two types. The first one, we generate the DIKWP graphs for the normal stickers, where no optimization process is performed in the DIKWP resource fusion transformation. We take the serialized proposed graph as 
an output the other for the fusion transformation process that occurs intermodal and intermodal of the DIKWP. We perform DIKWP measuration, transformation, and various processing, which in turn generates a DIKWP alter to of measured resource. Again, we take the serialized proposed graph as output. Finally, we validate the serialized proposed output in each of the two cases by comparing them. Figure 2 is mainly intended to show the correspondence between the research methods and the problems to be resolved. Next, the methods. Figure 3 on the left shows the resource mapping process of the, for the XWP, where we present the data as nodes. The first Yangoing proposed obtained from the data resources combined with the existing resource time types of the XWP will form information, knowledge, wisdom, and also sub proposed. Under proposed driving conditions, the combination of any two resource types resources in cross modal fusion and transformation. Thus, merging the IKWP resource, the original resource types we represent with nodes are subject to change, including node state, type of ownership, and the resource structure. The fusion transformation process of Western resources and the proposed resource is shown in Feature 4. Before proceeding with the resource optimization process, we first perform the IKWP resource mapping on the previous Dr. Patent dialogue text. The mapping process is shown in Feature 5 where the black circles represent data resources and the blue, green, red, and the yellow underlines represent information, knowledge, wisdom, and purpose, respectively. The feature on the right shows the DIKWP resource after the initial mapping is formed and the new resources obtained by the DIKWP model through cross-modal resource transformation. This section demonstrates the core process of DIKWP resource optimization, where Feature 7 shows the process of handling inconsistency issues. Feature 8 illustrates incomplete and uh, in prices resolution. Here I briefly describe the process of inconsistent and incomplete resolution. Inconsistent resolution. Based on the doctor patent dialogue, the doctor's response to the patient's question was indeed to suspect that the patient had a rash, no lapers, loopers. However, the doctor then responds to the patient with, your rash looks disshaped from the outside. This can lead to a misunderstanding for the patient. The patient might mistakenly thinking, think that the disease they have is indeed a rash, creating an inconsistency between the initial and the subsequent response after bears handling. The word rash should be corrected to simple term. Next, incomplete resolution. Three data stores for Dr. Patent dialogue text outside. This shape and pill all lead doctors to suspect that the patent's Distances is loopers, but when multiple reasons are present, it necessitates a weight analysis. Both these shapes and the outside are 
crucial keywords for diagnosing lupus. Our decision analysis allowed us to determine that the doctor's highest suspected waiting was pill to provide a sufficient theoretical basis for suspect we need to further refine and emphasize pill in the next of doctor patent dialogue but is most strongly associated with pill necessitating the attention of supplementary emphasis on the significant role of pill in suspect Proposed validation is very important in the whole resource optimization process, which identifies and judges the proposed tendency of the target object based on the observable state and the content of the target object, and further understands and practices the next behavior of the target object. Therefore, we directly show the optimization effect of the ACWP ACDS through proposed comparison validation. Proposed validation is divided, divided into two parts. Proposed ranking and proposed comparison validation as shown in figures 10 and 9 respectively. In the process of proposed ranking, we first need to break down the proposed requirements of the research subject into simple and more explicit purposes to meet the complex needs of the subject. Through proposed resource mapping, we can identify interrelated purposes and construct a proposed resource at. The detailed process is shown in Figure 9. Comparative validation of purpose in the DIKWP needs to be done in multiple dimensions. Comparative validation of multiple sets of purpose involves spatial skill, topology, computational complexity, and processing performance and individual interactions. The different dimensions of feature and features formed by the interlinking of multiple sets of purpose are not conductive. conductive to our proposed comparative validation. From this, we need to decompose the multiple sets of purposes into a single set of purposes through spilting. Finally, the summary. We discussed the solution to uncertainty in the process of cross-modal resource fusion and transformation in the DKWP ACDS. We perform model optimization through the AKWP maturation transformation and bears processing to address the incompleteness, inaccuracy, and the inconsistency of the AKWP fusion and transformation process, and then perform proposed ranking and comparative validation. We comprehensively describe the contribution of the AKWP ACDS resource optimization. That's all I have to say. Please criticize me. Thanks.